What up, everybody? It's your boy, Agent. I'm back once again. I know I'm a couple of days late. I know Saturday was a few days ago, but I didn't get a chance to talk about Michigan Wolverine. Sorry, I was a little out of town. and didn't get a chance, but finally I'm able to sit down and talk to you guys about my thoughts and my opinions from that game as Michigan travels to Minnesota and gets the W, 42-10. to 10. Yes, 42-10. to 10. And the best thing I can say about this game is straight domination. In these last two weeks, Michigan has did everything that they wanted to do to these teams, and they've... They have strangle, put a stranglehold on them and just dominate this game. The last two weeks, Michigan scored 97 points and only given up 17. Yes, I know it's against Nebraska and Minnesota, but they they've only can play who's on their schedule. Um, and they they done what good teams do, and that is to just just dismantle them, and they've done that. Um, like I said, my word for the day is domination. I'm gonna make this video quick and short and simple. Let's go over a couple of things. Straight domination. Second play of the game, Will Johnson pick six, seven nothing. Um, and Michigan just cruises and continue to go up and down the field. Um, Keon Sapp had another pick six late in that game in the second half. Um, PJ Fleck had this to say after the game: "I think they're the best football team I've seen in, in my years as being in my 11 years as being coach, as head coach." Um, so that goes to show you. Um, Michigan had one penalty. No turnovers, and then against Nebraska, they had uh, zero penalties. Um, they played over 70 guys, yes. So they had over 24 guys um, in the defensive box sheet, according to ESPN. Um, JJ played well in this game, 14 for 22, 19. Passing touchdown, um, four carries, 17 yards, two touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. Um, he had one was off of, one was off of option read. Um, just making plays. Offense had to do too much, too crazy. Um, did what they need to do, um, and that's all I can really say. Um, shout out to these defensive guys. Mason Graham, the defense lineman, was back, had a club on his hand, but looked dominant. I think he could possibly be the best player on Michigan's defense. Ernest Hosman made a made a made a, made some plays of transfer from Nebraska. Josiah Stewart, um, transfer from Coastal Carolina, made a, made an impact. Cam Good made an impact. Jalen Harrell, the edge, made an impact. Um, all these guys playing and getting experience is great for this defense, and they're gonna hit their stride and continue to be dominant and dominant. It's, Hard to say too much because, like I said, the competition. But Michigan is doing what they're what they're supposed to do, but they're looking dominant doing it, and that's the key, and that's what I've been waiting for. I talked about it for the first few weeks of the season. They did not do that, but these last two weeks, they have looked good. I'm um, still the number two team in the country. I still believe Georgia's the best team. Um, had a dominant performance against Kentucky. Um, I'm saying it's great. Um, I know Texas lost to Oklahoma, but I think Texas is still good. Ohio State um, pulled away from from Maryland late in that game. Florida State looked good against Virginia Tech. Um, USC, I think, is the most vulnerable team in the top 10. Um, no defense. They got another Dame this week coming up, and I don't believe they'll win that game. Penn State's looking good. I mean, they didn't play this week after that. They, had, they didn't play because they had a bye week. Um, I still think it's a number of showdown. Michigan, Ohio, Michigan, I mean, Ohio State and Penn State got to play um, in two weeks, so it's going to be good. Um, Michigan, Michigan gets um, Indiana coming up this week at home at 33 and a half point favorites. Indiana is not good at sitting at two and three, so I expect to see the same type of dominance um, from Michigan once again. I mean, that can see into this run to win a national championship. Look good, but look good doing it and play was on your schedule, but leave no doubt, no doubt until you got to play that back half of them last three games um, at Penn. At Penn State, at Maryland versus Ohio State, um, you got to make it work, man. And um, that's what champions do. But continue to keep your foot on the gas and continue to do that. And uh, we know Harbaugh hasn't got an extension yet. Um, but Harbaugh had a, a statement on, the, on signing a contract extension throughout the through during the season. He said, and I quote, "You want to be somewhere you're wanted, where they like what you do and how you do it." And that's, and then your bosses tell you that, and that gets to reflect it in the contract. Um, so. Great, important statement from Harbaugh. I do think he deserves a contract extension. But it was reported over the last couple of days that Harbaugh and Michigan are working on the contract extension. Um, him, Ward Manuel, and the administration are working on the contract that's going to make him the highest paid coach in the Big Ten and lock him up and so we can get those rumors. If he does decide to leave for the NFL after this season, so be it. But get him a contract extension in there and let's keep this, this train going and let's keep this momentum going. I know, like I said, this is the year to win a national championship. It's set up perfectly with the roster and the schedule. Um, I know next year is going to be a lot tougher with the schedule. I'll do a video on that with their conference schedule in 2024 and just the schedule in general. Um, so it's very tougher. It's tougher. But take advantage of the opportunity this year. Continue to do what you do and win. Um, 6-0, and so I can't play in a 3-0 in the conference. They handled business, did what they did. 
but Blake didn't have to do too much today. The offense didn't have to do too much today. The team just a great total team effort right now, and they're just getting these guys experience. The guys that don't get to play a lot, and they're what they're supposed to do. They took care of business, beat Minnesota on the road. Now it's on the end, Indiana. So I'll be back later this week with a video about that. Hey, everybody, have a great week. It's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.